TikTok CEO is testifying for the first time on Capitol Hill today as the Chinese-owned app looks to avoid being banned in the United States over national security risks. Lawmakers say the app gives China unfettered access to the personal data of 150 million Americans. That's astonishing. And they blasted the platform's links to China. We do not trust TikTok will ever embrace American values. TikTok has repeatedly chosen the path for more control, more surveillance, and more manipulation. Your platform should be banned. And I would also like to talk about national security concerns that you have raised, that we take very, very seriously. There are more than 150 million Americans who love our platform, and we know we have a responsibility to protect them. Meanwhile, liberal squad member Congressman Jamal Bowman of New York is calling efforts to ban TikTok racist. Why the hysteria and the panic and the targeting of TikTok? As we know, Republicans in particular have been sounding the alarm, creating a red scare around China. It poses about the same threat that companies like Facebook and Instagram, let's not be racist towards China and express our xenophobia when it comes to TikTok, because American companies have done tremendous harm to American people. Hmm. So protecting 150 million Americans, um, that's racist, Jason Chaffetz. Uh, mm -hmm. Does this have anything to do with the fact that 47% of Democrat Senate candidates use TikTok compared to 12% of Republicans, 30% of Democrats running in the House compared to 11% of congressional Republicans? Well, Congressman Bowman and a whole lot of others need to get an intelligence briefing because right. every security apparatus that we have, every intelligence apparatus has, says not only are they using this as a spying tool, but they are embedded themselves into your to your phone yep. and all of the things that they're extracting on that and, and the amount of time that the average American spends on TikTok is absolutely stunning. So I, I worry in these congressional hearings, I think Kathy McMorris Rogers had some good questioning. Mm -hmm. I don't think they have the technical expertise to actually mm. decipher what those terms of service allow TikTok to do. But if you're yeah. using TikTok, oh, you may laugh, you may giggle, maybe a fun video, but you're using it as a tool of the Chinese government and every intelligence agency, regardless Democrat, Republican, is telling us this is the case. Yeah, ex except for Jamal Bowman, I guess, in the yeah. squad. Um, but Emily, so just so viewers understand, TikTok um, is owned by ByteDance, which has to report to the Chinese Communist Party. They are a Chinese company. Um, so the CEO of TikTok can say all he wants, but at the end of the day, he reports to ByteDance, who reports to the CCP. That's exactly right. And that's what viewers need to understand. It doesn't matter matter whatever security links the CEO goes to explaining before Congress, oh, but it goes through Oracle in Texas. Oh, this is where we store the data. All of these micro steps mean nothing compared to the law in China, which states that every citizen and every company has to cooperate with the CCP and share data. It does not matter whatever America says, you need to divest yourselves, you need to store it here. None of that matters because every single piece of data that they are gleaning from there, they are giving to the CCP and they are, they are prioritizing the CCP's sovereign interests over anything else, including their financial gain. It's downright embarrassing to me that a sitting congressman, that Bowman can stand there flanked by the 30 influencers that TikTok enlisted the help of to curry favor on Capitol Hill right now. What a pansy. I mean, right. you, you literally cannot write someone more susceptible that is supposed to represent protecting and serving the Constitution at our behest. So I would like a refund of his salary, frankly, but I don't hold any hope over this TikTok, considering how many of the Democrats are using it. Yes. Um, but it worries me. And for those kids, the 8%, distract and redirect. They don't care. Give them the next app. They will be just fine. To that point, mm -hmm. Democrat hypocrisy, Rachel, you know, Joe Biden agreed to appear on TikTok this week while his spokesperson's out there saying what a threat TikTok is. We have some images will sure. pop up of Obama on TikTok, Biden on TikTok, Adam Schiff, Stacey Abrams. Uh, take a watch as you listen. All right. Or go ahead. <laughs> oh, you are <laughs> going to play it? Okay. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, first of all, I TikTok makes you dumb. We all know that. Yeah. Um, it's making our country dumb, and it's very addictive. I share your outrage, Emily, Jason. I agree that I'm concerned about, you know, the TikTok coordinating with the national intelligence of the Chinese Communist Party. But 
our social media companies are doing that too. They're coordinating with, I'm, I'm just as concerned about the coordination and the um, complicity between our big tech, yeah. our social media app, uh, um, uh, companies and and the government. So I think maybe um, we need to one, get our own house in order. Thank you very much. And two, um, I think that I am concerned about the depression and it is definitely a ploy by the Chin Chinese to get our children addicted, depressed. No doubt. Uh, you know, confused sexually. Um, all of those things are indeed happening, but we also need to talk about what's happening in our country. And affecting elections. No doubt Twitter has affected uh -huh. in elections, pressing Hunter Biden, but TikTok too. When you take away the 12 million users under 18, that leaves 130 38 million voting age individuals on TikTok whose CCP can influence. Mm. And to your point, I agree with everything you all said, but I think one thing that also hasn't been brought up is a lot of businesses, whether you believe this is a national threat or not, um, a lot of businesses are using TikTok, rightly so, to capitalize, right? Because we have 150 Americans, 150 million Americans on the app. So think about that. Our strategies, our business strategies, our consumers, everything that we're doing now our biggest enemy has access to. So I think on a, from a business standpoint, as a business owner, I can understand and appreciate using mm. social media. It's definitely an amazing tool, but I think there's a bigger issue there, and I agree with you 100%. I think it's damaging to our children. It's Absolutely. causing mental health issues, and I want my son to have zero part of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah my kids well don't even, my 14 year old doesn't have a phone, doesn't have social media. Well, little Nash and Blake won't either, so we're, yeah. following, the, we're following the duffy <laughs> on that one. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.